Man, y'all ready? Happy weekend. We actually know it's Saturday. I'm not gonna mess this up. So, we got a stock trade. This is gonna be very stock trading informational, but mixed with philosophy, mixed with the weekend stick talk. So, if you guys are new to the channel, you probably don't know how we do things here. You probably think it's a little weird, kind of sporadic, but at the end of the day, it's usually just education, knowledge, amongst other things, but I actually want to talk about something really serious and, you know, it's a thought that had me thinking. I even, I wanted to talk about something else. So, um, this is going to come up interesting because I'm going to make that in another video, but let's talk. Need me a break, but don't need me a break. I'm reading the breath and I'm making a trade. You need a degree just to get what I say. The prerequisite is you gotta get paid. I'll be all about bank life, bad boy. You don't know my name, say landlord. Yo, bae gave me brain like Stanford. And I came, I saw, I conquered. Shit so flame, say ain't got bother. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna hit y'all with that, but it's the weekend. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> no, I actually have a, I have a cool video. Uh, it sucks. I have a cool trading montage of the last couple days. I made a literal montage. I don't know if you guys remember. If you know, I'm a, I'm a real big gamer nerd. I used to actually make gaming montages back when I was a kid. I was pretty sick on the sticks. So I got some experience. It's not as good, so you know, forgive me, but I have a cool trading video. There's a lot of cool plays we made, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you missed that, and we're gonna stream uh, every morning, so. But this is what I wanna talk about. It's with the news videos. It's with the people on the stream. I've seen people talk about this in the comments on my videos, on other videos. Uh, people have talked about it in the stream and it's just confusion. Let's just talk about, let's just talk about confusion, you know? And I'm seeing people where they're like, it's, and it's getting worrisome because let's be real here, you know, the markets went up for what? 18 days in a row? Uh, after hitting a low on Christmas and everyone's very bearish and we we're seeing signals of inverted yield curves and uh, recessions and prices and guidance cuts and now the market's going up everyone's kind of confused you know um, one equal and opposite reactions that's one thing but that is you know it starts with this and, and I've said this in other videos it starts with your expectations of things but I was thinking about it this morning um, I didn't even want to make this video uh, this but this came to me because it was just like wow that it, I thought about I read a comment I was sitting on the toilet and <laughs> I thought about this and it makes sense I was like why would somebody be confused um, and, and that's you don't know the future that's it you know but it's like what makes people confused is often not you know not knowing the future but oftentimes not knowing the past so this is what I I want for you guys this is what I want to encourage for you guys if you're confused now with a lot of these moments everything uh, from what's happening with finances what's happening on with policy what's happening with the president of the United States you know um, go look into history you know and you're gonna see a lot of that's when things get funny in my opinion because it's not as if all this stuff is so unique are we living through an era right now like 2019 is stuff happening very unique yes it's the first time where you're having records from 1980 to 2008 being broken at the same time and you're getting volatility and the fact is like go look at it if the people are confused now some of you guys are confused and you're like well what video is this or you guys see somebody jump to a conclusion or you see you know a question brought up of a deep thinking question brought up honestly and you assume that it leads to a conclusion that's not how it works you know I present information to come up with theses and hypotheses and, and look at every way and I encourage you guys but it's like scientific method you cannot have a confirmation bias if you guys think you know it's gonna happen or you have an idea, and especially if it's just simply boiled down to go up or down, which some of you have looked at, at the markets, it's, it's very level one, it's very level two, it's only gonna take you so far with that, but what I'm saying is now, limiting the expectation comes through learning history, and learning what's happened in the past, because then you start to understand unexpected. You've learned from history, there is unexpected that happens, and then at the same time, some of what you guys think is unexpected is really historically prevalent. <laughs> That's the funny part, you know? And, and how the markets operate, and when you see certain moves, and it, it's easy, you know, we live in a day and age, the internet, it's easy to jump to conclusions, it's easy to have conspiracies, and hopefully you guys see, even when I talk my conspiracy, you know, again, I know it's conspiracy, but I call it conspiracy because it's when you start to take fact and enter in the realm of using one or two facts to speculate on a, another hypothesis and, 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 and speculate that it would be true and confirm it based on one fact being true. And again, if you can't 
prove something, you can't prove it. <laughs> That's how the court of law works. That's how the stock market works. That's how the SEC works, you know? Uh, and why do I say that? Because look at, that's how the whole game is played, even from the filings you're reading to how these companies and insiders are selling their shares, this and that. And like, people are gonna say, is it rigged? No, you just don't know. You're just, it's not rigged if you're on the outside. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, wanna, I wanna do this video. Tell me, I don't wanna ruin the surprise of the car we're gonna get, but I actually, I wanna record this whole process because I'm negotiating right now for a car and it's so fucking annoying, but that's the thing. If you're buying, car dealers are, that's an in and outside type of club, you know? Would you say that the car industry is rigged um, and that dealers do this and that and, and you know, it's shady to a degree, but at the end of the day, most of us just don't know the practice of the auto industry. We don't know how it works. We don't know the, the little stuff and how it's to operate to get our best car, but you know, it, it's, it's weird stuff like that, but as I'm saying, the markets, that's when you get to conspiracy, when you start to think, okay, this stuff that naturally happens, and you're like, oh, it's rigged, it's this and that, it's just like, this is how natural processes work, it's not, something's not being rigged just because you don't understand it, and that's what I'm saying, and that's where, that's, again, confusion, it's like, something isn't confusing if you are not, and I don't think that you guys don't understand it, um, I just think it's easy, because I fall into this mistake all, all the time, it's just easy to jump to a conclusion, uh, especially when we like something, and when we want something, especially then when we put money behind it, so that's where I, I, I feel you guys on it, believe me, but I want to make sure you guys get excited by this stuff. If you feel confused, Google stuff. Google stuff similar. Look throughout history, but you're going to see a lot of stuff has existed, you know, like eccentric presidents, like a guy like Donald Trump. It's so funny because we look back, we're like, oh, Donald Trump, he's like, how is this our president? Like that, that doesn't even feel real. Like that is confusing, right? That would be, that's really confusing, but it's not. America has elected people like Donald Trump before, <laughs> you know, crazy, literally go, we've elected guys who are on TV, you know, America electing a movie star, somebody with, you know, TV acclaim and uh, it's not too far with zero political experience. Uh, you, you know, th think about it. You could go from Reagan to even like Eisenhower, LBJ, like they these, some of these guys were like banging hookers in the president, no, in the president, in the white house. Uh, no, no cap. This is, that's a historical fact. Fact check me, you know, or bringing even in, in the limo, like they were getting it. Like <laughs> you, so that is our history, but it's not that surprising. Like when you see, like crazy claims to be able to say like, hey, go build a wall or or this, or now we're seeing like Iran, you know, we're pulling out this and missile defense here, or China, you know, with going after, all of this has happened before to a similar degree and then how it escalates on a political scale. When you start to see now, is it fake news this or is it this or that, no. These are news coming out, and I, I say this in every video, I bring this up, you, usually I try to bring it up to whichever historical context I could remember, and a lot of what's going on now reminds me of the 70s and 80s, where we we saw last, you know, floated, floated exchange issues, amongst other trade issues and East Asian financial crises within the 90s, that, and even the 70s and 80s that created these big divergences and problems, so fuck, I took the, and every time I record, I get on the wrong exits and whatnot, but, you know, historically speaking, though, you know, it, all, all this stuff, you know, I try to give an example of when the dates happen that it's related to, but for the most part, we, we've seen all this stuff a lot. Even when you see China go out and announce a piece of news or trade developments or working towards this or even like the Shanghai Accord, like, you know, this is all like stuff, all of this has happened before where you've seen governments and you've seen people come out publicly and they said this and they said they wanted to do a deal, they said they were gonna do a deal only to back out on it or they, you know, one country had to, you know, it worked for one year, two years, three years and they had to come back to the negotiating table and then it fell apart. You know, this is just all common with history, not even politics, that's what I'm saying, politics, economy, whatever you wanna look at it, but it's history, this stuff has already happened. And that's what I'm trying to say is that a lot of, uh, the time it's easy to get confused if we really think this is as unique as it is and it's really not and the next thing is timing and someone said this you know it's not that the market's confusing we're just listening too fast you know and and again that's going to set up is you guys got to get that's why i say your expectations with what you want to make and whatnot you know that can affect your trading but that, there, there's many different parts here there's the one there's the trading part but as an investor looking at this, because here's the thing, if you guys are confused and if your confusion 
lead you, you know, tell me this, if, if, if a YouTube channel, if my YouTube channel, if any YouTube channel, any information is constantly changing your investment decisions, there's something wrong. You shouldn't be investing. You shouldn't, you have to be careful. It's like I said, when, if you take two buckets of water and you take a cup and try to move one, you know, scoop from one cup, one bucket, the water and put it in the other and keep doing that. And once that other one fills, you, you put it back doing the same process. Eventually you're gonna lose water. And eventually there's not gonna be any more water. That's how it is when you guys keep moving your money and making trades or moving investments. But why I, I asked this and with the confusion, this is why real investors and understand how the investors make money. It's not, you guys aren't computers, you aren't algorithms, you're not day, like you, you sure even if you're a day traders, but still this is the, the problem with it is that you're changing your investment ideas in your minds up very, very fast. So that wouldn't work. Imagine if the, you know, that's why, that's why the volatility gets scary. And recently we've seen the stock markets change their minds as much as you guys, but for the most part, People don't really change their minds like that, and, and, and they, you're not supposed to because in the long run, you see, you see kind of the effect of it. But at the end of the day, you know, all I want you guys to understand is why are you confused? Or I want you to ask that to yourself. And anytime you are confused, I want you to stop. You know, this is an opportunity. At the end of the day, if there's, if you feel really confused, if you look around and see people confused that is an opportunity to make a lot of money. Uh, that is the opportunities now when people back up, and that's what I'm trying to really tell you guys. Instead of saying confused, you know, it, you guys are confused and capitulating. You know, it's saying, I don't know what's going on, I give up. It's, I don't know, it's, you know, it's not, <laughs> there's no attempt or even desire to want to figure it out, which is, that boggles me, and it's not like, well, I've tried everything, this and that, well, that's if you think you've tried everything on it, but that's what I'm saying, but look what, what's happened in the past, you know? Have you really looked up, you know, the last 30, 40 years of, our government and our, our history and what's happened, you know, what happened last time during a trade war, what happened, you know, with tariffs, you know, what is a balance of payments, you know, how does that affect the country, why is China's GDP there, you know, when did people start getting this idea that China is lying, what is China lying about, are they lying, there's so many questions and you know, and I know I get it and it's not, I don't want you guys to just look at stuff, but the next like, well, what's the goal of it, what do you get out of answering these questions, I don't know you're gonna get smarter and learn history, but that's what I'm saying is find a way to ask the right questions to get you to the, understand the right context we're in and understand the world, man. This is this is life and this is where we're at, so. Yeah, don't be confused. And if you are confused, you guys can ask questions, but ask me the questions. Be, you know, what, what's it? Be slow to speak, quick to listen, you know? And, and try to get that understanding and calm down. That's what I think, and you guys will see, man. We're going to get on some Zen shit. I'm here with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. That's why I want you guys. Hopefully, I'm able to help you guys. You know, you guys just need to call time out. Slow the game down. Nothing is confusing. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You know, it should, it could, they, it should seem. You know, I don't want to say they want you to seem as, you know, that sounds, see, that's conspiracy. You see what I'm saying? They could be, you know, I, I call they the devil. I call it an evil spirit. I call it a bunch of different stuff, right? But all I know is just that it's false. <laughs> that is not true. You see what I'm saying? That is perception and that's the stock market. That's investing. And that is the epitome of investing is that there's value and there is a price of something and that, and, and it's up to you to, you know, is it true? <laughs> you know, is it really valued like that? I know what my value is. I know what I think something's worth. Let's wait and see and find out. But you know, there's no, you know, at different times, people in the market and you are going to disagree with the value, how that operates and plays out. Well, that's on you. But I love you guys. Subscribe. Peace out. Show me some love. Uh.